Okay, so modal verbs are quite easy to use. Um, these are the three modal verbs in Italian. Dovere, to have to. Potere, to be able to. And uh, volere, to want to. And um, all you need to do is conjugate your modal verb, whichever one you, uh, you're wanting to use. And you don't need to conjugate the second verb. It's just left in the infinitive. Um, once you know your modal verbs, you are able to say, you're able to express a lot more in Italian. So let's start with some simple ones just about um, yourself, about um, io, talking in the first person. Uh, you want to say, I have to work. So you know that the, the verb for to work is lavorare. So what you need to do is you conjugate the dovere, I have to first, io devo. And then you simply add lavorare. Um, let's do an example with potere. I can um, I can um, I can come say to a party for example. So um, to come is uh, venire and I can is posso so posso venire alla festa. Um, let's try one with volere. I want to. Uh, say, um, I want to eat a pizza. So look up the verb to eat, which is mangiare. We just conjugate for I want. Voglio. Voglio mangiare una pizza. Okay, so they're all examples for you. Let's start using, um, doing some examples for some other people as well. Um, say, um, I'm going to tell you, you have to, um, uh, you have to drink water. So to drink is bere. So my sentence is you have to. So I go to the tu form of the bere, devi, devi. And I leave the second verb in the infinitive. Devi bere l'acqua. Um, now I'm going to try it with potere. Um, you can write on the computer. So to write is scrivere. So you can is poi. Poi scrivere sul computer. Um, maybe I want to ask you if you want to, um, uh, if you want to go to the cinema. So to go is andare, and we look at you want is vuoi andare al cinema. I'm going to add a question mark because it's a question. Vuoi andare al cinema, and you can recognize that. Um, we've already used and learned um, uh, volere when talking about organizing a day out and inviting someone to do something. Okay, let's try one with um, he or she. Um, say we want to we want to um, write um, Robert Roberto has to. Um, speak in Italian. So to speak is parlare and has to for he or she is deve. So Roberto deve. We just copy out the infinitive parlare and the rest of the information in Italiano. Um, we want to say Roberto can go to Italy. Um, Roberto può. Um, we need to look up the word to go. Andare può andare in Italia. And another example, um, it's something that he wants to do. He wants to. Um, He wants to read a book, 
So to read is leggere. Roberto, we just look up the he, she form, vuole, and copy out leggere. What does he want to read? A book, un libro. Roberto vuole leggere un libro. And so forth for all the other people. Um, so I'll just do one example for everyone else. Uh, let's say we want to eat. We have to eat. Um, noi dobbiamo mangiare. Um, you all can drink water. Voi potete bere l'acqua. And they want to um, dance. Loro vogliono ballare. There's just one thing um, I need to point out and that is um, potere and how it translates. Now potere is it means can, but I guess it's more like to be able to um, to to do something. So to have permission to do something and to be available to uh, to do something. Um, it's uh, we don't use um, potere when we want to say we're able to like we have a talent. We we can sing, for example. Um, I can sing. We actually use the verb sapere to know. I know how to sing. I know, um, so the sentence would be so cantare. That translates to I can sing. If you want to say I can dance, um, so ballare. I know how to dance. Um, it's more accurate um, to use so than um, using potere posso ballare. Um, so um, potere is more about permission. To do something and I guess availability if you're available to do something um, posso. Okay so I'm going to test you now so let's see if you can construct um, these sentences. Um, as always you may wish to first um, use this as a writing task so pause after I say a sentence um, write it down and then listen uh, for the answer and then when you become more confident you can treat it as a speaking task where you think on the spot and say the sentence and then check if you're right. Okay so the sentence is um, you all have to or you all must read Harry Potter. Dovete leggere Harry Potter. Um, they can come to the party. Loro possono venire alla festa. Um, Carla wants to listen to music. Carla vuole ascoltare la musica. Do you have to talk? Devi parlare? Do you want to dance? Vuoi ballare? I want to do my homework now. Voglio fare i compiti adesso. I can't come tomorrow. Non Posso venire domani. You all have to write. Dovete scrivere. We can't work on Saturday. Non 
possiamo lavorare sabato. Can you work next Sunday? Puoi lavorare sabato prossimo? Can I just do a couple more? We want to watch a movie. Vogliamo guardare un film. Um, I have to um, sing at school. Devo cantare a scuola. And one more. Um, you all can see this uh, movie. Potete vedere questo film. And that's it. Remember to post any questions up um, for the Einstein task.